Do you want to know how to handle the new ISO 1518-20 in your couple code? I have some useful code examples for you. Hello, my name is Farnel. I am a product manager of the option Smart Charging in Canoe. And I will show you today how you can control your electric vehicle simulation or your charging station simulation in your couple code. Let's start in Canoe. So in Canoe, you see here the demo for the option Smart Charging. We have here now a new Smart Charging configurator. So in the Smart Charging configurator, you uh, have the possibility to change the settings of your electric vehicle or your charging station. Um, here in this example, you can manipulate the message delay between the request and the response message. Here is it set to 250 milliseconds. Let's see in the trace how the settings look like. Let's start Canoe and plug in the electric vehicle. And now you see the simulation started and we can stop already because I just want to show you the timing difference between the request and the response. So choosing this request here and this response and you see it's set to 250 milliseconds. So now I want to manipulate this delay from 250 milliseconds to 10 milliseconds. Let's go to the couple code. So you find it here in the communication setup. We open the uh, couple code here. And here you can just add a new command, set attribute, open. Then you add here EVSE and the name of your attribute you want to man manipulate. It's a binding and message delay and we set it to 10 milliseconds. We just compile, no errors, perfect. We go back to the simulation. We'll stop it and start it again. We'll plug in, stop the simulation and you see here between the request and the response you have now 10 milliseconds. Let's go back to the couple browser. In the couple browser, you have the possibility to open the Symbols Explorer. And in the Symbol Explorer, you will see all the data, methods, and messages from the charging station. And you can easily drag and drop the methods into your couple code. So I will do it now with the start simulation method. And this method will now start the EVSE simulation if you start Canoe. So now I will show you how you can disable optional parameters in your messages. So here you can see the message service discovery response and the optional value added service list. So we will now um, disable this parameter in your couple code. And this value added service list is transmitted from the charging station in the service discovery response. So we use as a trigger signal for the charging station simulation the service discovery request from the electric vehicle. So I will now add the event procedure on value update. I will drag and drop the service car request, the message we receive from the electric vehicle. And I will add the value value added service list and use here the method set invalid. And because we want to manipulate this value, so so to say to write it, we need a dollar sign in front of this data field. So now I showed you how you can set uh, a value to invalid and you need also possibility to check if this value is present. And now I will show you in the couple code how you can use the method here. The method is invalid. Then open the couple code for the EV simulation and 
Then I will use the event procedure value update again for the service car response message. I will check the parameter value that service is valid. And then I will print the info with the method write line x in the trace. We just compile. After our couple code changes, we will run the canoe simulation again. And you will see here that the value added service list is not present anymore. And you will see this information also with our write line x output. So if you want to know why I added minus 3 and 0 for the write line x method, you just have to press F1 while your mouse is over the message. And here you get the information in the canoe help. So in the canoe simulation, we will use the default values for the messages for the electric vehicle and the charging station. If you want to set your own values for the parameters, you have to use the method enable auto body fill. So in the message service detail response, you see two parameter sets. And we will now disable the second parameter set. So here we use already the method auto body fill with the value zero, so it's disabled, and we can set the parameters uh, to our own custom specific values. So I will now send only one parameter set, not two. So therefore, I have also disabled the parameters, the ID one, here and here. As a result of our code changes, you will see only one parameter set in the message service car response. So as I showed you, you can very easily manipulate your charging station or your electric vehicle simulation in Canoe and in the couple code. And if you need additional support, please visit support.vector.com. So thank you very much and see you soon. So if you missed my previous video, uh, about the ISO 1508-20, the Getting Started video, just click here. And if you don't want to miss our future videos about the smart charging communication, subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Vector Tech Tutorial, and hit the bell.